Hello, Internet. Welcome to Bowser Builds. Just a humble garage where I do a humble little oil change. And uh, while Bowser goes and gets apparently his one pair of gloves, I was gonna do this with him, but I guess maybe he'll do it and I'll help a little bit, but he'll be doing it. So I've had this bike uh, since uh, almost a year ago, and I've just put, I think, 5,000 miles on it. So it's time for an oil change. I haven't done an oil change on this bike before because when I got it, it had just had the oil done. And we're gonna find out when we get behind the fairings, but I think we have to take all this off, which will suck. I don't know what the oil filter looks like, but I got in a K&N filter because I absolutely require that the camera will focus eventually. Require to have a head on it like that. Because too often with my oil changes in the past on my bikes, it won't have any way to grip the oil filter and so it's a pain. And this is already gonna be a pain, I can tell. So this will hopefully be quick, but this has gotta get done. All right, so. I haven't looked because I'm lazy and I didn't think it was necessary until now, but I'm pretty sure the oil filter is right here. Behind plastics? Yeah, well, it's behind right whatever this is. You can tell me how wonderful this is going to be. But this thing, and that, and look at that. That's going to be nice and, it's going to be really good. Are you serious? <laughs> Should I just leave my bike here for a couple weeks? <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be that bad. I think I'll take the shifter pin here off, and then this will like swing down, and then we'll just take it off. If we get a tool. Yep. And should we drain it first? Yes. We're ripping along the bottom, right? Do what? Rip, we're ripping along the bottom. Yeah, so there's one here. Yeah. And then there's one way up here. And then there's two on the sides. Oh, it's stripped. That's what it is. Oh, is it really? Yeah. That's the other. Pretty stripped. Putting a knock in it so I can get a screwdriver on. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. All these little problems. One problem after another. Good job with that. So hopefully. Another one of these. <laughs> no, it's it's useless. It's over. One last thing to put back in. <laughs> Lightweight, bro. Weight reduction. Weight reduction. You go from glossy to chain grease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even bother cleaning that side because it's just too hard. <laughs> if, you just, if you just got a can of like brake cleaner, it would come right off. Yeah, but then guess what would happen? You'd have to wash it. Like guess what would happen after I cleaned it off? Uh, it'd get dirty. You got it! That's forward thinking right there. And that's why I got a black motorcycle, so that's I don't have to worry about Walter it. That's doesn't take baths. <laughs> Seriously, if this bike was white, can you imagine how oh, no. atrocious that is? so gross. <laughs> okay, so I thought we'd have to rip off this whole side piece, but Reed was like, nah, we can just disconnect the bottom and then pull it out like you just did to get to the, the drain. There you go, you can get to the drain. And then there's the filter. Right there, you can pull this up here too and it'll get exposed. And he had to take this, disconnect it, but look at that. You're able to get it loose with just that clamp tool. Yeah. That's lucky, because- channel, channel lock pliers. In the past, oil filters like that have been just stuck in there. Sometimes, then, yeah, I think on one of your bikes we had to just do the screwdriver trick where we pierced it with a screwdriver <laughs> and pried it off. Yeah, I remember that. that hit, we've had some sucky times, but hopefully this is the last Hard oil filter I ever have to do. And by I, I mean you. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> there you go. There it goes. Hot it's... potato. Is that lined up underneath there? Yup, yup, yup. I don't. Oh, the drain? Yeah, the, the, the sure. thing. It's, uh, it's one of those. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it doesn't look like it's those, lined up. It's one of those MC Escher drawings. Don't worry about it. There you go. It's gonna be beautiful and hot. Here comes really hot. Liquid. Oh, oh yeah, move the so thing. <laughs> oh, you missed. <laughs> Why did it spray that way? Because Escher painting. Yeah, oh, right. My joke. I've never heard about filling an oil filter with oil before putting it in. Yep. That looks like more than halfway. That looks like it's full. It's gonna dry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like you've done this before. Almost. Look at that going in there like it was designed to be so wonderful. So easy. So much better than taking all the plastics off. One of these. Style points. <laughs> Style points. Okay, so we're ready to put the screws back in? Yep. Good. It took like 45 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Which wasn't too bad. It could have gone faster if we had known like where the, where the plug was. But we, at least we made the right guess to like just take off the bottom on the side and not the whole thing. Didn't waste our time with that. That would have been a huge pain in the butt. Okay, well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this really short garage video. We do have other videos in this garage with this bike and other motorcycles. 
I'll link them in the description. We had a video of us customizing this, uh, swapping the engine on another bike. So two or three different videos. But also while I'm here, I want to tell you about this hoodie because this one that I am doing is going to be out for I think another week, hopefully longer, but uh, it's just a silly hoodie idea for anybody who sees you while you're on the bike and you're squinting a little bit and it probably will give more people a chuckle. But anyway, that's all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week on whatever Wednesday.